right doctor <clears throat> You want to leave? Yeah. Small topic. Hairy cell leukemia is very easy. B cell neoplasm is hairy cell leukemia. The median age is 55 once more. After becoming professor only, you will get hairy cell leukemia. No hurry. Male to female ratio is 5 is to 1. Little anti masculine uh, uh, affinity for hairy cell. You can remember after you lose hair, as a man after andropause, you get hairy cell leukemia. So, males more, median age is 55. Then, what is a very important feature of hairy cell leukemia? The leukemic cells will have hair like projections, which you can see in a face contrast microscope. See, doctor, this is the leukemic cell which has got the hair like projections classical or hairy cell leukemia then uh, one more important thing is this is called trap staining tartrate resistant acid phosphatase staining trap staining is a classical feature in case of hairy cell leukemia is what you have to basically remember how to describe hairy cells, doctor? Kidney shaped nuclei, reniform nuclei is a buzzword you need to remember. And typically there will be pale blue cytoplasm with thread like extensions. Then a very important thing about uh, the bone marrow as a clinician, 55 plus patient came, he has got a significant splenomegaly. Right? You are suspecting. Some leukemia. You are trying to do first, there are two kinds of bone procedures, bone marrow. One is called aspiration, just like lymph node. You can do FNAC, you can do biopsy, excision biopsy. Right? So, bone marrow also you can do bone marrow aspiration is different from which is a cytological technique. Cytology you can analyze. Other is called bone marrow biopsy. You take, you will drill and then take out. Uh, a significant piece and stain it and block it and see through microscope, right? Very crude way of teaching pathology. But uh, as undergraduates, there is no other way to remember it, right? Now, if you try to do bone marrow aspiration in a hairy cell leukemia, you aspirate, aspirate, patient will be crying, nothing is coming out that aspiration. Dry Aspirate it is called. Unless you do bone marrow biopsy, you don't get anything. Aspiration doesn't yield. Why? Why? It is in hairy cell leukemia. Because there will be a lot of extracellular matrix produced by these hairy cells. And a uh, lot of reticulin fibrils will be there. And all the cells, they become enmeshed in that uh, reticulin fibrils. Normal guys, if you suck, you will get some amount of bone marrow fluid and uh, you look for cytology for of cells. In this you do not get anything because all cells are being prevented by the filter of uh, reticulin fibers. Lot of times a question is asked. Dry bone marrow aspirate, where do you see? Your flip card answer is, uh, what is the answer? Hairy cell leukemia. And you only need to do marrow biopsy in order to make a diagnosis. So, this hairy cell guy does not come out by simple aspiration. You need to dug deep and then get a bone marrow biopsy. This once more a peripheral smear where you are able to see the hairy cells classically. In case of a hairy cell leukemia, this is another way to appreciate the presence of that uh, hairy cell leukemia. So, trap positivity, dry tap, hairy cell leukemia are the things that you are going to remember. Now, doctor, there is one very important CD marker, which you should not forget. Lot of times asked in exam. CD 103, I think easy to remember. What is the helpline ambulance number? 108, uh, okay, okay. 103, 103. You need to remember, CD 103 is a very sensitive marker of the hairy cell leukemia. 
and uh, it is a member of the integrin family highly suggestive of uh, if it is positive for hairy cell leukemia then how is spleen in hairy cell leukemia the splenic red pulp white pulp two things are there the red pulp is heavily infiltrated by this uh, malignant uh, leukemic cells and white pulp is virtually obliterated classical feature of hairy cell leukemia and the spleen will have that beefy red gross appearance and uh, hepatic portal triads also in the liver can also be infiltrated by the leukemic cells as a part of the extramedullary hematopoiesis now what is the immuno phenotype of hairy cells doctor which is asked commonly in the exam first of all hairy cell is a b cell hence pan b cd19 cd20 any b should be 1920 positive surface immunoglobulin is positive that means it is originating from little mature b cell then certain markers are called distinctive markers of the hairy cell leukemia 103 cd25 cd11c they are highly suggestive that it is hairy cell leukemia lot of times examiner will be changing one cd with the other like a disc jockey and you must be able to understand which leukemia examiner want you to diagnose now what is the molecular pathogenesis if you analyze the immunoglobulin g gene sequences you discover that there are lot of somatic hypermutations in case of the hairy cell leukemia the reason the present uh, current understanding about it is the origin is from a post germinal center see b cells will undergo maturation and uh, they lead to some amount of immunological memory next time oh antigen ane do i will burst antibodies against that antigen there is a memory b cell so it is that post germinal center memory b cell which is mature enough to express ig receptor is the one which is considered to be the cell of origin for the hairy cell leukemia is what you have to basically appreciate doctor now what are the important uh, uh, clinical features bone marrow liver and spleen they are all involved splenomegaly in fact is massive in case of uh, hairy cell leukemia in fact if i ask you most common physical finding in a patient of hairy cell leukemia massive splenomegaly is your answer there can be hepatomegaly lymphadenopathy pan cytopenia is another important feature generally actually patient comes with uh, pan cytopenia with splenomegaly then you get an idea that uh, why pan cytopenia generally pan cytopenia can be explained only because of the splenomegaly itself can uh, explain obviously you are uh, driven towards what is bone marrow doing now right so then you will try to order first for fnac why patient will say no 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 that painful bone marrow biopsy i don't want doctor just to put one small needle it's all right i'll turn that side that nothing is coming even if you are aspirating it you are dancing gangam style also nothing is coming eh? gangam or gaganam gangam style also nothing is coming out dry tap is hairy cell leukemia is what you need to remember then uh, around one third of the patients will develop infections especially atypical mycobacterial infections are very common in the patients who are having hairy cell leukemia because they will have a unexplained monocytopenias classically then how does it uh, clinically progress doctor very indolent course indolent means uh, it uh, very benign very benign if you give chemotherapeutic agents earlier we used to give cladribin huh now interferons so many things are having a role they produce a wonderful remission prognosis excellent in case of hairy cell leukemia is what you have to ultimately remember so thanks for a patient listening doctor